Hey guys, in this video I'm actually going to show off one of my Pokemon card decks. It's actually my favorite deck out of all of my decks. It is the Unlucky Win deck, and why it's called that is basically uh, the shift tree in this deck. That's the name of its power. It's called, its Pokemon body is called Unlucky Wind. And this deck basically uh, evolves around shift tree's power, which um, is very good in con with is very com good combined with confusion, and I'll explain what Shifty's power is once I start talking about him. But it's definitely one of my favorite decks. It's very very good. Uh, I might want to make a couple improvements to it sometime later, but right now I really like this deck, and I would I really love using this at the the league. So let's start talking about some of the Pokemon. Uh, I have four C dots in the deck. Uh, I don't have all of this C dot. Doesn't matter what C dot you use. Two of that. One of that. One of that. Uh, I guess you don't want to use this one since it's in the same set as the shift tree. But yeah, that's uh, C dot. Don't really want to use him. Uh, harden during Chrome's next turn. C dot would be damaged by an attack. Fred that damage if C dot damage or if the damage is forty or less. And astonish. Choose one. Choose one of your opponents cards in its hand without looking and shuffle into a deck and 10 damage. It's an okay C dot. Okay, now here's the Nuzleaf. I have three of these in the deck. Uh, two of these and then one of that. None of them are from the same set as the shift tree. Self-charge, attach uh, dark energy from your hand to Nuzleaf, cox your punch, and fake out. Pa can paralyze and tend to slap. Uh, they're okay. They're not the best Pokemon. Definitely our best, better Nuzleafs out there. But that's the, those are the Nuzleafs I use. And now here is the shift tree. I have three in this deck. Uh, one hollow and two reverse hollow. So, yeah, I actually had to order a couple of these online because um, no one at the league has any rising rival cards. But yeah, um, his power... There's Poke Body, Unlucky Wind. As long as Shiftry is your active Pokemon, whenever your opponent flips a coin during his or her turn, treat it as Tails. That is one of the stupidest and most ridiculous powers I've ever seen, and that's why it's awesome. It's so freaking cheap. That is just ridiculous. I cannot believe how they thought that was a fair power. And it's not like he's a bad Pokemon either. He he's he does he's good. He's good at attacking. But yeah, that's that. And the second attack, confirm. Forty damage, and if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, friendly Pokemon is now confused. So that is also another way to confuse them. I actually put a few copycats in this deck. You could put judges in there as well. But yeah, it's confirm and seal off. Fitting Pokemon can't use any Poke Powers or Poke Bodies during opponent's next turn. So that's a very nice move. It could be used effectively. So this issue is very powerful. He's a very nice Pokemon. Even if his power even if you don't have if you even if you don't have the other Pokemon, he's still good in a like just a standard attacking deck. So that's that. So here is the Roselia I use. It's the Unleashed Roselia. I actually talked about this earlier in the uh, HS Unleashed review. Petal Dance, 20x. Flip three coins, detect 20 damage times the number of heads. Roselia is now confused. So that might be a little problem, but Roselia, it's, it's okay. I have four of them in the stack. So that's that. And here is the Roserade I use. It is also from Unleashed, and I've also talked about this before. One reverse hollow and two standard. So here's this poke power energy signal. When you attach a grass energy or a psychic energy from your hand to Roserade during your turn, you may use this power. If you attach a grass energy card, the defending Pokemon is now confused. If you attach a psychic energy card, the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Power blah blah blah. So basically, if you attach a grass energy to Roserade, you can confuse the enemy. And if Shifty is active, then they're confused and they can't do anything. So that is a very useful attack. Uh, a very useful power. Definitely the best way to confuse your opponent, in my opinion, in this deck. So yeah, very useful. Definitely want a lot of Rose Raids in your deck and a lot of Grass Energy. So yeah, 
And here's Power Blow, her attack, or its attack. It's 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to her, right? So if you keep attaching energy to her, or it, sorry, then it'll keep getting more and more powerful the more and more you confuse your opponent. Or you can you can attach any energy you want, as long as you the opponent's confused. So yeah, Roserade, very, very useful. Definitely my favorite way of confusing your opponent. So, uh, here is the Magmar I use. Uh, I have four of them. There's the um, Fossil Set Magmar. Smoke screen, Sandra smoke screen, smog for the coin pads, if anyone's not poisoned. There's Magmar from whatever that is. Fire Punch and Smog, Fanny Puffs and Poison. Okay, Magmar. And here's the Call of Legends Magmar. Lava Coil and Magma Punch. It's also, there's also the same Magmar from Unleashed, so you can use that as well. I have two of those just because I got a lot of Call of Unleashed packs. So yeah, that's that. And here's the Magmortar I use. I have three of them. And I'd like to give a big thanks to Zapdos TCG or TCG, he, TCG Zapdos. He goes by Zapdos TCG, but his username is TCG Zapdos. He did a video on opening a Supreme Victors pack, and he actually got this card. And I was like, whoa, that'd be perfect in this deck. I, already, I need to use that. So thank you, Zapdos TCG or TCG Zapdos, whatever you want to be called for this. I know, I'm pretty sure you're watching. And, jeez. Sorry. Okay, this is his power, Evolutionary Flame. Once during your turn, we play Meg Mortar from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. We use his power. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. So that is a very useful attack, just because um, it confuses automatically. If you just evolve it from Magmar, your opponent's confused. And it also burns. And by the way, burn and asleep do not work, because Citrus power only works on your opponent's turn. So, yeah. Very good uh, power. It definitely, uh, the second best way, to, or I think it's the third best way, because it confirms pretty good. So his attacks, fire arrow, choose when your opponent's Pokemon, has 30 damage to it. Or choose when your opponent's Pokemon and put 30 damage on it. Or it does 30 damage. And Fireball. May you move a Fire Energy card attached to my Morger, Meg Mortar to one of your bench Pokemon. So this could be good for uh, preparing your Shift Tree if it hasn't uh, been prepared yet. Or if giving more energy to Roserade. Like if it's about to, if Meg Mortar's about to die, you could use this to give more energy to Roserade. Or Shift Tree or whatever. So that's that. Meg Mortar is a very good Pokemon. Three of them. I also order those online because I don't feel like digging through a bunch of Supreme Victors packs. See, so, yeah, and here's the Dunsparce. I have three Dunsparce. It has a Pokebody Deadlock. As long as Dunsparce is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Dunsparce can't attack. That's an okay power. Not one of my favorites. Down draw, draw two cards from the bottom of your deck. Uh, good for uh, getting cards fast. Especially if you start out with Dunsparce and you don't have much to do with it. And tripping turn, the defending Pokemon is now confused. You may switch dense bars with one of your bench Pokemon. This can be good because if uh, Shift Tree is on your bench, you can use tripping turn and switch out for Shift Tree. So then the opponent's confused and Shift Tree's out. So unlucky wind and activates. And also unlucky wind only a is a allowed when Shift Trees are active. The so dense bars, I might take him out. He's definitely the Pokemon I take out because I have a lot of Pokemon in this deck. And I might need to take some out. But Dunsparce is very helpful. Uh, definitely recommend him. Uh, but I'd recommend Rank Mortar and Roserade a lot more. So, that's Dunsparce. So the energy I use, I use Fire, Darkness, and Grass. This is that wrong order. But basically, I have 9 Grass energy in my deck. It is 9, right? Yeah, it's 9. I have six dark energy, usually four darkness, or special dark. Um, the only problem with having four special dark is if you're going up against a uh, Caesar Prime deck, and I hate those stupid things. So yeah. And then there's a... Uh, then I have five fire energy. Um, I might want to take some of the, You might want to take some of the fire energy out and put some more on dark because last time I used this deck, I didn't really have to use Magmortar or Magmar at all. But since none of the Pokemon really need a specific energy that much other than Roserade, then you don't really need to have that much, because Shifty only needs one Dark, and 
Magmortar only needs one fire, and these two can attack without energy. So yeah, definitely have a definitely have a lot of grass energy, and some a lot also have a few dark energies. And you might want to lay a little soft on the fire energy. You probably won't need them too much, but just keep them there if you want. Uh, just in case you want to uh, use Magmortar or Magmar to attack, which since they are very good attacking Pokemon, just not perfect for attacking. So now let's look at the uh, trainers. First of all, I have one energy exchanger. I don't know why I have one. I'm going to take this out for something else. Just an energy card from your hand. Show it to your opponent. Put it on the top of your deck. Search your deck for an energy card. Show it to your opponent. Put it in your hand. Show it to your deck. So this is good for getting energy. I have this instead of an energy search because uh, darkness energy can't be... Energy search only search for basic energy and energy exchanger searches for special energy as well. So that's why I have this in the deck because you can get darkness energy which are really, really helpful. Those things are ridiculous. Any kind of special dark and metal are very useful. So energy exchanger is recommended. Maybe, if you're not, if you don't have some of the other cards. I have two interviewers questions in the deck. Uh, you don't know what it does. Look at the top eight cards of your deck. Choose as many energy cards as you like. Show them to your opponent, put in your hand, check the deck afterwards. Or shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So basically you can get as many energy as you want from the top eight cards of your deck. Very useful. Um, the only problem with it is you won't always get the energy you want. Energy exchanger, unless you have, unless you don't have any energy in your hand, you will always get the energy you want, unless you don't have any more or they're in your prizes or something. So interview question is very good. Just not always. You don't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you, gets what you need. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I have two Pokemon communications in this deck. Choose a Pokemon from your hand, show it to your opponent, put it on the top of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, show it to your opponent, and put it in your hand, show it afterwards. So basically, if you put a Pokemon in your deck, you can get one back. Very good for getting Pokemon. Uh, get them very easily. Uh, you don't have to wait for anything. You don't have to have a coin flip or any kind of downfall, except you have to have a Pokemon in your hand, which should be a problem since there's 27 in the deck. So yeah, that's Pokemon Communication. Very good card. Now, I have two twins in this deck. Ironic, two twins. Uh, this card, basically, you may only use this card if you have more, if you have less pri if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. Search your deck for any two cards and put them in your hand. For the cards. So you can search for any two cards in your deck if you're losing in prize cards. But the problem with it is sometimes it's too late for that. Sometimes you have to get down really, like sometimes you'd be destroying your opponent. They had like two prize cards left and then they could destroy you as well. And then you have to get all the way down to one prize card. And by then you're already so, all your good Pokemon are destroyed. So you don't, you can't really recover yourself from that. So twins, that's the only problem I have with it. Like you just, it's a, a little annoying when you have to get down your prize card so low. Or just sacrifice a Pokemon. See, so yeah, that's twins. Uh, it is good to have, but not one of my favorites. So next, I have three rare, three rare candies in this deck. Uh, basically, what rare candies do? Um, well, the description says they change it a little. Choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have stage one or stage two card that that evolves from that Pokemon in your hand, what that card on the basic Pokemon. This counts as evolving that Pokemon. If you use a stage 3 Pokemon in your hand, put the po Pokemon on the basic Pokemon instead of stage 1 Pokemon. Basically, with this, you can skip the uh, the second evolution. So, like, say you can skip Nuzleaf and go directly to Shift Tree. But in recent years, you are allowed to... Well, used to, you used to be allowed to evolve, use it to evolve, and on a turn you normally can't evolve, so you could have C-Dot on the first turn and evolve into Nuzleaf. But recently they changed that, so it doesn't work like that. But I heard someone say that you can use it to skip the first evolution, which, first of all, doesn't make any sense because it's like evolving. I evolved nothing into Nuzleaf. Like, you can play this and then play Nuzleaf as a basic Pokemon. Well, it counts as an evolution Pokemon, but it'd be... You don't have to need a C-Dot. I'm not sure if that's actually true. So, Ever Candy, definitely recommended uh, for getting Shift Tree out early. And... If that rumor is true, it could just skip to Rose Raid. You wouldn't be able to use it for Magmar because you wouldn't have to activate his power. Whew, jeez. 
So I have three copycats in this deck. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw the number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. This is very useful uh, for confirm. Like, if you, uh, if you use this, then you can automatically use confirm and confuse your opponent. And it's very useful. You can also use judge, which makes both players shuffle their hands into the deck and draw four cards. Very useful card for confusing your opponent. Um, sometimes the problem with it is that you don't usually get that many cards. You usually get like three or four cards with it, unlike Professor Oak or um, Professor Juniper, where you get six or seven cards. So yeah, that's Copycat. Definitely recommended. Very useful. So yeah, that's uh, my Unlucky Win deck. Uh, definitely one of my favorite decks, and you can't steal it for tournaments because. You couldn't, you couldn't get away with half this junk. No one, you couldn't get through with Dunsparce. He's really, really old. Legend Maker's old. Uh, like, Magmortar, Magmortar and some of the Magmars and some of the, and even Shift Tree is not even legal in tournaments. So there's no way you can use this deck to, in tournaments. You can use it in some events, because I, I like recently I, there was an event at alternate universes where the Pokemon League is hosted, where you could use Majestic Dawn and On. But, yeah. And also, originally there were a lot of sleep cards in this deck. Like, uh, sleep. The old fashion sleep. Uh, but that doesn't work with Shift because I realized that. And ironically, I realized that right after I bought a Dark Ride, that'd be incredibly helpful with that. But, it doesn't anymore. But, uh, and also, I'm, I took this out because I was really tight for a space. But you could also put a energy flow, a very old card, which basically you can um, put as many cards, many energy cards attached to your Pokemon back into your hand. This could be very good for a uh, Roserade because you could, if you really need to confuse your opponent and you uh, you don't have any energy in your hand, you could use energy flow and get a lot of those energy off of Roserade and then just keep attaching them over and over again. So that could be useful, but... If you're tight for space, then don't worry about it. You might want to put energy exchanger or something. That's only if you're... That's only if something, uh... That's only for, uh, something. I don't know. But also, um, something for Magmortar. You might want to put some, uh, de-evolution sprays or super scoop-ups in the deck. So you could, um, de-evolution de spray, de-evolve Pokemon. You could use that, um, to de-evolve Magmortar and then evolve them again. Or you could use super scoop-up to, uh scoop up the entire Pokemon and then just play it again normally. So that'd be very uh, useful. Um, but I don't put it in the deck cause, just because I'm tight for space. So yeah, that's uh, the deck. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you to make another great deck. And uh, again, thank you Zapdos TCG for informing me about the Mag Mortar. Uh, the next Pokemon thing I do, again, it might be a, the deck from the new black and white set that's coming out or opening packs for the new set that's coming out. Again, I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon, TCG, whatever. Later.